today's video was decided by you guys. I had asked which tutorial you'd like to see next and the most votes went to splitting one full body outfit into either like a top or pants. In this tutorial, I'll just do the top. In short, what I'll do is that I'll take this full body outfit first and then I'll take just a random bra or well top. Then I'll paste the full body outfit onto the bra and remove everything that's not the top. So this is just kind of the logic behind what's happening today. Now, if you guys have any ideas for any other Sims related tutorials, let me know in the comments below so I can add them to my list. Don't forget to like this video and if you guys are new, feel free to look around my channel and just decide for yourself if you want to subscribe. Now let's get into the tutorial. As always, we're starting with the programs that you'll need to follow this tutorial. First, you'll need Sims 4 Studio. Second, Blender. And the third, Photo Editor. In this tutorial, I'll use GIMP. All the programs that I use in my tutorials are all completely free and I'll put the download links down in the description. First, open Sims 4 Studio. Then right here where it says CAS, select Create a 3D Mesh. Once that's selected, click CAS. Now in the Sims 4 Studio catalog, look for this outfit. This is um, an adult female full body base game outfit. Now, once you found the outfit that you'd like to split, make sure it is selected and then click Next. Right now you're saving a .package file. Now this file will not be in your game. So we're just using this file to export the mesh. So you can save it wherever you want. This is where you'll be brought to. And like I had said, first I just need to take this mesh out. So select the tab that says meshes and click export. Right now what you're saving is this mesh. So this is a Blender file. For now, just remember where you saved it. Right now, I need to get the base for my top. So open Sims for Studio once again. Make sure you click Create a 3D Mesh and then click CAS. And I'll just look for this bra and save it as a .package file. Now, this is the file that we will work on. So this is the file that will be in your game. Files that will be in your game always need to be saved to your mods folder. Even if you don't save it there right now, you'll eventually need to move .package file there in the mods folder in order for it to work in the game. Now once saved, again, you're brought here. Export the mesh by selecting the meshes tab and click export mesh. Now when I have exported both of my meshes, let's open them. This is my top base. I will work on this one. And this is my full body outfit. First, let's take a look at my full body outfit just to see what part of the mesh we'll need to copy and paste to the top base. So over here to the side, you'll have everything what your mesh is made out of. What matters for this tutorial is anything that it's called studio mesh and then insert number. So this mesh has Studio Mesh 1 and Studio Mesh 2. If you click them, you can see that it highlights the part of the mesh that it is. So Studio Mesh number 2 highlights the outfit. So this is what I'll need to copy and paste onto my top. So for now, just remember Studio Mesh number 2. Literally just memorize Studio Mesh 2. And then you can close the full body outfit. Now let's go to the bra blender file. Right now I'm going to import the full body outfit onto this mesh, the one that we memorized, so studio mesh number two. To do that, click file, then choose append. Right here, this, this is just a file browser. Uh, you're going to look for full body outfit mesh that you had saved, double click it, and it opens it up like a little folder, and then look for a subfolder that says object. Open it up by double clicking. And right here, you have all these things that your full body outfit mesh is made out of. So you can look for the one that's called studio mesh number two. To open it, double click it. Our full body outfit is now overlaid over the top base. As you can see right here on the side, we have studio mesh number two that we had just imported. So studio mesh number one is our base top that we're working on and studio mesh number two is a full body outfit. 
So first, let's remove everything that's not a top from Studio Mesh number two. To do that, first enter edit mode. To enter edit mode, you can click this little triangle thing right here, or the keyboard shortcut is the tab key. Now, if your model glows up once you've entered edit mode, like, you know, mind it, then this means that everything is selected. Now to deselect all, press A on your keyboard. So letter A is both for select all and deselect all. Now, if your model was already black, you don't need to do anything else. Now, in order to view my model a little bit better, I'll go to from view by pressing number one on my numpad. To see even better and to make selecting easier, I'm going to click limit section to visible. So let's start removing. We'll remove pants first. To enable free select, press letter B on your keyboard. Now this cross appears and then simply click and drag over the part that you want selected, which, you know, for me is pants. So now to remove it, click letter X on your keyboard and then choose vertices and the pants are gone. Now let's remove some more. Again, letter B to enable free select and then click and drag what you want selected. Press X and choose vertices to delete. Do the same thing for another hand. Well, I did the same thing for another hand. I had for the purpose of the tutorial, you know, just made it simple and left it as the simple top. So no sleeves, nothing. Now bra and top are glitching together. So we're going to need to remove the bra. So go to bra by clicking studio mesh number one and enter edit mode by clicking this little triangle or by pressing tab on your keyboard. Now before we start, Warning, be very careful when removing anything from the bra. You could end up with some like floating elements, uh, glitching and stuff like that. For example, if I drag it too much down like this and then remove it, there is a space right here. So I had removed this part on both the full body outfit and on the top. So whatever it is that you had removed from the full body outfit already, you may not remove from the bra especially like body parts, like hands and stuff like that, because you already deleted arms. So if I, again, remove arms, then there is no arms on the mesh. So I hope this makes sense. So I'm just going to be very careful not to remove any part of the arms or of her belly. So just the bra, kind of like this. To remove, press X and choose vertices. Now look, if you've messed up, Blender is a program just like any other, so just undo the action and redo it. Now I'll merge these two together. In fact, we need to merge the full body outfit with the bra. So the outfit goes into the bra. All right, so click the full outfit or well, studio mesh number two, and then hold shift on your keyboard and then click the bra or well, studio mesh number one. After that, click anywhere in the model area and select Ctrl and J on your keyboard at the same time. And now these two are merged together. Okay, so we're pretty much done. We just need to do some final touches. Go to edit mode, select all by pressing A on your keyboard. Then right here, select mesh, go to vertices and then select remove doubles. What this does is that it gets rid of any double vertices that we may have missed. So I'm done with my mesh. I'll just go and see what it looks like in the studio. To save, choose file and simply click save. Now go to Sims 4 Studio where your bra is. And under meshes, go to import mesh. Make sure you import your mesh to all LODs or level of detail. Now we'll need to fix the texture as well. So go to textures. As you can see, we still have the bra texture here and we need to change it to the top texture. Like we did for the mesh, we'll need to export this image so that we can work on it. Make sure diffuse is selected and click export. Right now what you're saving is just a simple .png image. Now I'll need a texture of our full body outfit as well. So go to that file and export that texture as well. 
Again, make sure Diffuse is selected and click Export. Save that image as well. Okay, so let me just open the top image in a photo editor. Like I had said in the beginning, I use GIMP. There it is. I'm just going to drag the full body image onto this image. So now I'm again going to delete everything that's not the top. Square select and drag. Delete by pressing delete on your keyboard. Now with the bra, I'm just going to make it invisible by pressing this I icon right here. And there we go. Save the new texture by selecting export. Go back to the Sims 4 Studio and import the image that you had just made. Also, make sure you always delete your shadow, specular, normal and emission. Why? Well, because this could make your outfit look weird while in game. Once done, don't forget to press save. Now let's see what it looks like in the game. So jump into the future. So I sorted by custom content and there is my top. I added some swatches. This is of course up to you, however you like it. My whole thing is just to try it yourself, play around with it, have fun. Now, I hope this video was helpful to at least some of you. Let me know in the comments below. Any suggestions are also always very welcomed. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. If you want to support me, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything and to me it means kind of a lot. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, which may or may not be smart or dumb. Well, it depends on my mood really and also my time schedule. Well, we'll see in the future.